Continuing onward, we're going to see how we can persist the memory of a large language model using Langchain memory. So this memory for your chat, you need a way to put that on ice, to, to serialize that so that you have some sort of a file or something that summarizes or that contains everything that you and the large language model have chatted about in this session. So we are going to, so we're going to make use of the summary memory, which is really, in my opinion, the most powerful. It is creating these summarizations of everything that you're using. It's actually using a second large language model to do those summarizations. And then you, uh, you, can, you can preserve that. So it is important, you do need an OpenAI API key if you're going to use OpenAI. If you're not going to use OpenAI, then you're going to need to modify the driver to use the appropriate one. And remember, you are using two large language models here, one that you're chatting with, and then the other that is helping you summarize. Because you might find a better model for each of those two. They don't want to constrain you that you have to use the same one. So here you'll see that I create a class. And this is a little more advanced of a, of, a, of a chat session. You can tell it to forget things. You can tell it to regenerate its last response. We're going to put this into a Streamlit web application later in a, in a couple of modules. And we'll see that we can then have a whole conversation with it and have it forget that I've said certain things or regenerate. So here I tell it you're a helpful assistant, do everything in Markdown. And then I, I'm going to explain this class that I had. And this is a pretty handy class. I have used it in other things that I've worked on because it lets me manage in greater detail a, a chat session. So the first thing that I do is I initialize the memory and conversation chain. So there's two different, um, there's the memory that is going to be the summary memory, as you can see there, and then we create the conversation chain. And the conversations, you'll notice there's two LLMs, just like, just like there are anytime you do a summary memory. This LLM is actually having the chat. This LLM is producing the summary. And we also keep a normal sort of history of everything that's been, that's been said. That's useful because when we want to regenerate, we just go to the to the one previous, get that prompt and just re resubmit it after we've cleared its memory. So this starts a conversation. Chat, basically you give it the prompt. So it's going to say human, it's going to provide it to it, and then it's going to give it, give it back to you. You can print the memory. You can see the contents of the summary. You can clear the memory, certainly. You can undo, so that completely removes the last response and its, the last prompt and its response. And you can regenerate the last one. And then more importantly, you can open and you can save this history. And notice that it's using pickle to do that. Pickle is a very generic sort of way in Python that you can take pickleable objects and convert them into a file. So now we'll test it. I'll say, hello, my name is Jeff. And it, it accepts that. Um, and I tell it that I like coffee and it, it says, that's great to hear. And then I ask, do I like coffee? And it says, it seems that you do like coffee. How do you like your coffee prepared? So it tries to continue the conversation. It's, it's friendly. We'll see that we can save it. So we create, it, we create the large language model that you're gonna chat with. And I do the usual conversation and it, it is remembering everything I wanted to remember. But then I save the history to a pickle file. And I create a new chatbot and I load it. And I ask, what is my name? And it already knows my name is Jeff because we stored that memory to disk and then we, we reloaded it later. You can also undo and regenerate. So here I'm saying, I'm, I'm telling it I like coffee, but then I immediately undo. And then I ask what my name is. It should remember that. Um, it says it, it doesn't know if, if I like coffee or not. And then I just talk about you can implement this chatbot. Just use the, use the class that I have here. 
it gives you a lot of capabilities in terms of you can regenerate and also undo. We will make use of this class in a future module when we create a streamlit chatbot that you will talk to over the, over the web. Thank you for watching this video, and if it's useful, please give me a like. Uh, subscribe so that you don't miss all of my future AI projects.